Hello, I am Ronan and Moog. In this screencast, I am going to show you how to produce Excel documents from SAP using OpenXML for SAP. Let's go first inside the customization of the Excel template. As you can see here, we have an Excel template. We have a template code, which I gave it uh, freely and uh, we have the template path and we have the output directory which is now on my desktop uh, also we can put it uh, on the server which all the generated documents will put inside and then we have the structure which the template based upon the structure is the structure from SAP from the SAP repository, so all the data of the fields will be taken from this structure, including the header text. Let's go inside the template itself. As we can see, it's an empty Excel worksheet. We close it and we go to an ABBA program which will, will generate the documents from the template. Uh, we put the template code of this template and then we'll produce 30 files for this demo. As you can see the files are produced. We'll open one of them. As we can see here we have the header text and the data lines. We'll watch one or two more. The same. The data is changed, as you can see. <coughs> now, we will delete all these files and we'll go to the template declaration. We'll open the template itself. What I'm going to do here is uh, I put some text here, like uh, let's say uh, AA, and then uh, I will change. I will change the layout of this row. I will give it a, a red color and a theme color of yellow. As you can see the red in change, it should be red. Uh, and um, I put it bold. And I will change the font to Arial 14. And I will go to the second line and put some text. And uh, we'll change, we we'll change the fold with this, this color. We put it also a real, a real narrow. And 12 is the size. Now, <coughs> I will save this template and I'm going to reproduce <coughs> excuse me the documents generation now let's open one of them as we can see here the <coughs> the header was changed and also the data line was changed We see also that the header changed and also the data lines format. What we did here, so we changed uh, the format of the of the rows itself. We can do it also on a basis of uh, a, a column or on a basis of a cell. Let's go. Uh, we see another one. As you can see, just change, just change. <coughs> the, um, then change it on the template and we can see it also on the documents that were generated from this template. Let's again delete all these files and we'll go again to the template and I want also now to change it to blue and 
I will put uh, an italic on these lines and change the fold to, let's say, this one. Okay? And maybe we'll change also the team, the team color. What I can see here that if I put some text here, I can see the changes of the of the change of <coughs> of the attributes of this of this text. We we'll save it again and also reproduce the files again. As you can see, it was changed. Maybe it's not, it's not uh, the ideal font or the ideal uh, structure, but it was changed. And uh, as you can see here, if there are more than one line, all the other lines, they take uh, the declarations from the second line. So what we did here is uh, showing how to change how to change the layout of the template based upon the template itself. I want to show you another one before I end this. Let's uh, say that I want to I want to put it more bigger, the cell itself, wider. I will change it on the basis of the template and Maybe we give it wider, wider, and I will save it. And now I'm going to delete the files again and go to the generated documents program and run it again. As you can see, the files are generated very fast. It's, it is very fast in Excel, more faster than in, uh, than in Word. Um, now, we'll open one of them. As we can see, also, the, the wide of the, of the column itself was changed. It's the same here. For all the, for all the documents, it's really take all the declaration of the of the of the cell of the attributes. It takes it from the the template itself, not from the SAP. The SAP just give the just give the attributes of 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 the template itself and its structure. And uh, in the in the near future, I'm going to to get it wider. All the all the attributes, I'm going to change it and add more attributes to the Excel itself. And in this uh, screencast, what we have seen that we've changed, we've changed the layout of the Excel itself uh, on the basis of the template and we connect it to the attributes of the template on the SAP itself and then we produce the documents based upon the OpenXML for SAP. That's all for this time. Thank you very much.